You're listening to NatSci News Rewind, a podcast that looks back at the monthly news headlines in the world of NatSci. Let's take a look back at the news for the month of November 2021. MSU scientist catches subatomic glimpse into 3D structure of all matter. Over the past century, physicists have pieced together the basic building blocks of the universe like a giant jigsaw puzzle, one experiment at a time, invented highly advanced instruments such as MSU's National Superconducting Cyclotron Laboratory, a facility for rare isotope beams, to test their theories. Research conducted by MSU high-energy particle theorist Wei Wei Lin has just provided a major piece of the puzzle. For the first time, Lin used advanced calculations in lattice quantum chromodynamics to directly measure the momentum of quarks inside the center of the atom and to generate 3D images of the proton structure. The results were recently published in the journal Physical Review Letters. No more mucus. In a partnership between MSU and Spectrum Health called the Cystic Fibrosis Translational Research Program, a team of researchers, including MSU biochemist Robert Quinn, is studying the effectiveness of a promising FDA approval treatment called Trikafta. It is a combination of three different drugs. The new treatment is proving to be life-changing for people with cystic fibrosis. The research was published November 24th in the Journal of Cystic Fibrosis. Zooming in on the future of microscopy. When physicist Tyler Cocker joined MSU's Department of Physics and Astronomy in 2018, he had a clear goal. Build a powerful microscope that would be the first of its kind in the United States. Having accomplished that, it was time to put the microscope to work. With a novel microscope, Cocker's team is using light and electrons to study materials with an unparalleled intimacy and resolution. The researchers can see atoms and measure quantum features within samples that could become the building blocks of quantum computers and the next generation solar cells. Their research was recently published in the journal Nature Communications. When fiction and real life collide, MSU's role in planetary defense. On December 10th, Netflix will debut the movie Don't Look Up, a fictional comedy about MSU scientists who try to warn the government about a giant asteroid's impending collision with Earth. In the story, no one from the government or press is paying attention, but in real life, NASA and MSU are very much engaged in the serious and important science of planetary defense. MSU planetary scientist Seth Jacobson is part of a multidisciplinary research team working on this project. 2021 Annual Awards Ceremony honors NatSci faculty, staff, and students. 37 outstanding MSU College of Natural Science faculty, staff, and students were recognized for their achievements and contributions at the NatSci Annual Meeting and Awards Ceremony held on November 19th at the new STEM Teaching and Learning Facility. <laughs> Studying plants' protective hair reveals metabolic innovation. Plants are master chemists, producing a dazzling array of molecules that are valuable to humans, including vitamins, pharmaceuticals, and flavorings. In a paper published in Science Advances, a team of MSU scientists from the College of Natural Science followed up on their observation that the common black nightshade makes an unusually large number of different acyl sugar protective compounds in their trichome hairs. A surprise finding from this study is that black nightshade acyl sugars have different types of compounds not found together in other plants. Learning how nature dances. Long ago in Earth's history, individual cells began to communicate and coordinate with one another. Thanks to this and a few billion years of evolution, humans can now gather in lecture halls to share ideas about how to study this communication and its wide-ranging implications. MSU scientists Lee Cruz and Yan Dufour now have a paper published online November 5th in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in which they took a deep look at how single cells work together to choreograph collective behavior. In particular, the team looked at a bacterial species to tease out the basic rules of the dances bacteria do to survive, thrive, and impact humanity for better or worse. <laughs> Through the nuclear looking glass. About 20 years ago, MSU's B. Alex Brown had an idea to reveal insights about a fundamental but agnomatic force at work in some of the most extreme environments in the universe. Brown's theory laid the blueprints for connecting the properties of nuclei to neutron stars, but building that bridge with experiments continued to be challenging. That is, until 2017 when he said he started thinking about the precision experiments at the National Superconducting Cyclotron Laboratory, or NSCL, and in the near future at the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams, or EFRIB. The goal of this new idea, which was recently published in the journal Physical Review Letters, was the same as his earlier theory, but it could be tested using what are known as mirror nuclei to provide a faster and simpler path to that destination. Three NatSci graduate students chosen to study at national laboratories. The Department of Energy's Office of Science has announced its selection of graduate students for the Office of Science Graduate Student Research Program's 2021 Solicitation One Cycle, three of whom are Michigan State University College of Natural Science doctoral students, Caleb Richard Hicks and Gabrielle Gibbon in the Department of Physics and Astronomy, and Scott Essenmacher in the Department of Chemistry. And that will wrap up the Rewind for the month of November 2021. 
To read more about these stories, head on over to our website at natsci.msu.edu slash news. You can also stay up to date by following us on social. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at MSU Natsci. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to check us out next month.